It's back to business tonight in Perry. The school board held its very first meeting since all of the students returned to class. It comes almost a month since the deadly shooting that rocked the district. School board members have been meeting more frequently to talk about critical aspects of the community's healing process. KCCI's Ophelia Jacobson spoke to the school district superintendent about the future of Perry schools. Ophelia? Well, Ben, Stacy, today was the second day that Perry High School students were back in the classroom. That means all students in the school district, elementary, middle and high school have returned to campus tonight. The superintendent is asking for grace, forgiveness and kindness as the com community continues to navigate forward. Healing is turning into hope as the Perry School Board continues to navigate the school district's path forward less than one month after the deadly school shooting at Perry High School. We'll take a great deal of time. Superintendent Clark Wicks says the school board has been meeting more frequently following the shooting. The past few weeks have been, uh, it's been a roller coaster. During Thursday's special board meeting, members discussed plans to fill Perry High School principal Dan Marburger's position. Marburger was injured trying to save students from gunfire on January 4th. He died 10 days later. We're not going to re ever replace Dan Marburger. Some say it's too soon to start looking for a new principal. Others say it's time. The board wanted to make sure it was OK with Marburger's widow to start the process. We have the approval of Elizabeth because we want to be very respectful to her, but she also wants to be very respectful for the process. Wicks also gave an update on attendance numbers at all three of Perry schools. He says those numbers are a testament to the strength of students, teachers and staff. Our attendance is more than what I was hoping for. Uh, you never know in a tragedy like this and how people will respond. High school students returned on Wednesday. On Thursday, 80% of students were at school. Student attendance for both the middle and elementary schools were around 90% Thursday. It's refreshing. Uh, to see the eyes, the smiles, the people coming in with a bit of energy. In tonight's special meeting, during that meeting, two women spoke during public comment. Both have kids in the Perry School District. One woman called for stricter school safety measures and a closer look at mental health issues. The other mom thanked the board for all of their work that they've been doing over the past couple of weeks. Live in Perry, Ophelia Jacobson, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. Okay, Ophelia, thank you. And the high school will temporarily increase the number of officers patrolling campus. It's also limiting when students can be in the building. No more than 25 minutes before the first bell and no more than 15 minutes after classes end. The Perry School District recently completed an application for $150,000 of funding to improve school safety.